Hey guys, hope you've all been well. Um, I have just hit my head <laughs> on the chandelier in my room. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I'm not going to die in the next 20 minutes that I film this video. Um, but I thought I would do a May favourites for you all. Um, it's like almost the end of June. But since I'm making content again, I wanted to get back onto doing regular tags. And I don't care if like when I get to June I have nothing. But I thought I would just do a May favourites. Um, as late as it is, and yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. So I'm just gonna start off with some hair products. So I have two here that have been kind of my staples for the month. Um, and they're both by Label M, which is um, kind of the sister product, the sister brand of Tony and Guy. So the first one is the Texture Wax Stick. Um, I cannot say that properly. But basically it's a roll-up stick that you use to put, um, lay down your baby hairs. So I have baby hairs around here, of my uh, around my kind of temple, whatever this is called. Um, so I use this kind of just to push it up and to lay them down and then to lay down this kind of area as well. Um, it's just a really great little product. I think you can actually do more with it, um, but I've only really found the need to use it that way. In terms of the matte paste, this is really great as well and as you can see I've used so much of it up. Um, I really like this because my hair has been a lot shorter um, this year than it was before. I've actually had to use styling products um, to put it up in this kind of um, little pompadour kind of... Oh, my head hurts still. Um, into this kind of pompadour um, comb over style. And this just works really well because I don't like matte... I don't like shiny products because my hair will just get greasy anyway by the end of the day. So I want to start off with something matte and this is really great for that purpose. So to get into more of a fashion element of the video, I'm just going to show you my um, kind of document holder purse thingy. Um, so whenever I go out to like on the weekend to brunch or something like that, usually I like to take something um, so I can take other things like deodorant, notebook pad or something like that because I do travel on tra public transport because I don't live in the inner city area. I live out a little bit more in the suburbs with my parents. Um, so I usually do like to carry a couple of things when I'm going and especially if I've gone and shopped then I can put my stuff into a little bag. Um, so this is quite nice and it actually is real leather. This is, I bought from Topshop in London two years ago now. Um, it's real leather and it has two compartments down here, one here, one here. Um, and they kind of zip up as well. So I usually put my phone and stuff in this one and then I'll put um, other stuff like products in the second one. So for kind of a weird side of the favourites element, I'm going to show you um, my toothpaste which I use. Um, so I had my wisdom teeth taken out around six weeks ago and um, I had all four taken out and one go I was kind of submitted, submitted. I was admitted to hospital and um, yeah I was put under, had all of them taken out and then for the next like week and a half, almost two weeks, I could barely eat anything and it was just like the worst thing. But I'm glad that my teeth are healing and I've kind of been focusing more on um, dental hygiene. So I've been using this um, Red Seal toothpaste. It's really, really good, um, especially because it just smells really great and it's kind of paraben free. Well, it's not kind of paraben free, it is paraben free. Basically, it's just um, a really great alternative to some of the traditional toothpastes which do have chemicals in them. Um, and this is really good because it has chlorophyll, so it's supposed to be good for fresh breath. So another little weird favourite um, is tea. I have had to switch to like decaffeinated everything because I get acidity now. Um, and one of the things that have really kind of saved my life is um, green tea. And I'm like loving green tea, but the green tea that I've been taking um, is literally... I don't even have a box anymore, but it's the Tetley um, decaf green tea. These are really great, it tastes really nice. I had the Dilma ones before, they're really nice as well. Um, but I've just switched out all my coffee to green tea and I feel so much better. I don't feel the need to like always have coffee in the morning because I was one of those people that was like, I can't wake up unless I have coffee. I can't do anything in the day without coffee. I have to have th coffee three times a day. And obviously that was not great for my body and I had really bad acid reflux. So switching to green tea, especially decaffeinated green tea, I've just really found works for me and I'm happy I've made the switch. So onto something a little bit more fashion related, um, shoes. These are my favourites for this month and every month probably of this year. These are Hugo Boss um, 
brown suede boots that I bought um, from ASOS. Um, they have a little like navy thing here and then they have a really nice like sturdy wooden sole. Um, these are so nice, like literally really comfortable. They lace up, lace up all the way to the top. So I usually wear um, jeans inside um, and tuck them in there and then I lace them up. Um, just really love these. These were around I think $190 on sale, which I think is really, really decent for a pair of shoes because I'm like pretty good with my shoes. Um, and I've started working so I need like more nice shoes and I'm hoping to buy like a black version of them if I can find something similar. I will, um, but yeah, really loving them and I'm trying not to wear them too much because I don't want to wear them out. So in terms of the last thing for fashion related stuff, it's this blazer. That's, um, it's a tweed blazer by Top Man and I got this while I was in London as well, it was around two years ago. And I just love it, it's so, like, it's such a versatile piece because I can dress it up, I can dress it down. Like I went to brunch this today, um, which I vlogged, which will be on um, a, like a weekend vlog that I'm doing. And um, it was really nice, and I literally just wore like a sweater underneath it. Like I think it was like a greeny, um, mossy green sweater, like a brownie green sweater underneath, and with black jeans and just like black boots. And, and then if I go out for dinner tonight, which I might be doing, I'll wear like a nice little shirt underneath and the same kind of thing down below. Um, so yeah, really love this. I just wish I had bought more if there was a different colour at the time. Um, but you know, you can't live life with regrets. The last favourite I have is an app. Um, I love using my iPhone. I actually didn't have an iPhone until this, well, this year actually. Um, before that I was like an Android person and hello, never going back there. Um, but it's the iBooks app. So basically, I am a big fan of fan fiction. I read a lot of fan fiction and call me nerdy, call me whatever you want. Um, but I read a lot of like Harry Potter fan fiction. I'm not going to go into it. But pretty much, um, this has saved my life because before I used to read all the fan fictions and like scroll down the page of like a hundred thousand words sometimes, or well, not really, like twenty thousand words, and it's like a massive page. Um, anyone who reads like on their phone will know how annoying that is. Um, but then I realised that on Archive of Our Own, which is kind of a fan fiction website, you can download f fan fictions as an ebook, and it's changed my life. Like literally, I will read like my fan fiction on here and like be able to actually like switch pages and read like a normal person. Um, so iBooks has saved my life and Archive of My Own is kind of saved my life as well for teaching me how to do that. Um, so yeah, massive favourite and I'm hoping to continue doing that for the rest of my existence. What a weird thing to say. So that's the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't already, can you please Subscribe to my channel. I am starting to like get into a proper schedule now that I have my new camera and now that I have time to film videos. So I hope to be doing a lot more for you and you need to be subscribed to actually catch on to those videos and actually know when I'm going to be uploading. Uh, other than that, leave a comment down below if you have any questions for me. As always, I do reply to questions and comments and I, that's my favourite part of actually doing these videos is talking to people that I've been talking to for like three years on YouTube. Um, and I love that. So if you do want to leave something below, let me know and I will always get back to you about it. Um, other than that, I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!